So this, Ma, is a Blumhouse film to the core, which as a production company, they've really taken a stance with horror and started to invest money in very concept-driven films, which is the idea of reducing horror down to an elevator pitch so that it's easier to market. I mean, the marketing for Ma has been fantastic, which I think is very interesting because you both get really fantastic stuff like Get Out and then you get the not-so-fantastic stuff like Truth or Dare. But I kind of like it because it does encourage these bold choices and some kind of sense of originality. And I think Ma is a great example of what Blumhouse is doing, not because it's particularly great, but because it's interesting even in its failures. And so the elevator pitch for this is that there are a bunch of teenagers cruising around a small town in Ohio in in search of adults to be complicit in their illegal underage drinking uh, to get so to get adults to buy them booze and they cross paths with this eccentric woman named Sue Ann played by Octavia Spencer who uh, takes one step further and not only provides them with alcohol but invites them to her basement in her house to just have parties and so she becomes something of a local figure known affectionately as Ma as And as you can guess, her intentions aren't quite pure and she has other plans for these very gullible teens. And we have a clip of how she gets her nickname. Okay, everybody listen up real quick. My only house rules are don't take the Lord's name in vain. Sorry. And don't spit on my floors, please. Oh, and you, I'm going to need your keys. You got to check in with me before walking out that door because I got to know you're safe to drive. Cool, yeah. Okay, oh, and nobody go upstairs. That's my world, and right now it's a mess. So uh, you guys are free to do whatever you want to do down here, but, you know. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. (laughs) Thanks, lady. I'll get you some cups and ice. Uh, uh, Excuse me. You got any pizza rolls, Ma? Ma? (laughs) Boy, you are too much. I'll get you some snacks. Go ahead and uh, make yourselves at home. this is so it's her basement. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're very, as I said, very gullible teens. Uh, so this is directed and co-written by Tate Taylor, who and she worked with Octavia Spencer in The Help. Mm. He also did The Girl on the Tra- Girl on a Train, but this is his first foray into horror, so it's a pretty huge departure for him. And tonally, the only way I can really describe it is that it exists in the same universe as Riverdale, the Netflix show, which is this completely ridiculous teen drama that is also equally addictive. And I have a problem that I am addicted to it. And it's the way that the teenagers in this talk like no teenager has ever spoken in the history of humanity. I mean, I think you can tell from that clip a little bit how weird the dialogue is in this. At one point, a girl says in horror, like, what? You don't vape? Um, And it has the sensation of, you know, it's full grown adults trying to capture this post postmodern aspect of Generation Z, which is hard to to define, but it's this blend of irony and complete emotional sincerity. And so many moments in this film exist almost to be turned into a gif and then put onto Twitter, which Hmm. isn't necessarily a negative thing because the film is so wild, it's so unpredictable, and it's such a tonal roller coaster that it's actually quite fun to watch. I mean, Mm -hmm. emotions are felt strongly and suddenly... And the entire film just swings between comedy and soap opera and horror with no hesitation. There's moments of extreme gore that just pop out of nowhere. Alison Janney just turns up every once in a while to yell insults at Octavia Spencer. And it confused me, but I liked it. (laughs) So I think the thing as well that pushes Ma past just being fun and trashy and into something that is genuinely interesting is the character work there. And I think specifically... It's Octavia Spencer that Mm. makes this film work because she, I mean, she so rarely actually gets to show off how great of an actor she is. And so here she gets to demonstrate how quickly she can flip a performance on a dime. And at times she is the sympathetic protagonist. We see her backstory and we understand what drives her to do these things. And there are these layers of pain and isolation in her performance. But then suddenly that smile would turn into a scowl and she goes into full horror villain mode. It's that vengeful rage that 
is a little reminiscent of like Stephen King, like Carrie or Misery. Yeah. And on top of that, it's set in this bleak middle America town where Juliet Lewis plays a mother who's been forced to move back to where she grew up because she tried to make it in California. And that's seen as a complete failure. And so it is a completely ridiculous film, but there's enough there that I was weirdly hooked by it. Okay. 